G'day YouTube, cool story bro bad here, and today I just want to talk to you guys about something. Now, of course there's something you might be wondering, and I know just what it is. It's pretty obvious, actually. Now, you're wondering, why am I playing this Minecraft game? Well, normally when I do these videos when I talk, I just kinda... Just do it on a blank screen, you know, boring, bland. But I figure, I'm in a generous mood today, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling gracious. So, I'm gonna do this with a little Minecraft plan, you know, just cause. I haven't played this bloody game in about about four months, maybe more or less, more or less, and this is the first time since I played the 1.7.4 update, so yeah, I figured I'd just go for it. Now, <clears throat> let me shut up now, my Australian accent sucks, and I should stop insulting the nation. Anyway, yeah, I figure I'm gonna just talk to you guys about stuff, I guess, just cause, you know, just cause. I'm gonna just talk, and that's basically it. There's, there's, there's some good things and some bad things I wanna talk about. Now, the bad things I want to talk about are, um, well, well, well I'm, I'm going to start with the good stuff first because that, that's more important, I guess. That's more important. So, first of all, I want to say I thank you guys so much, so much, because, you know, I'm actually banking close to 400 subscribers on YouTube right now, and holy crap, this is awesome, you know. I, I don't know what to say, man. I mean, I've had my channel for a while, but it seriously started picking up last February, that's when it really started hitting and it was like once that happened it just got crazy it just kept going and just has been going ever since and I'm just thankful for that man <laughs> like like you guys are the credit for that that's thank you I, <laughs> I really can't say anything else but thank you for that it really means a lot to me and I want to keep I want to keep going man you guys keep a bro going and that that's all it's about but anyway there is some bad news, however, and that bad news, unfortunately, even despite the fact I just said you guys all keep me going, is that I feel like it might be necessary for me to take a break from Pokemon for a while. This thing is lagging like crazy. I feel it's necessary for me to take a break from Pokemon for a while because it's just, you know, contrary to how my performance may have seemed in my videos, it's been a quite a frustrating experience. Like... Like, like, all right, like, a dude who's uploading battles, all right, he's not gonna just upload only his wins, you know, because that's not, that that's really kind of slanted. He's not gonna upload only his wins because, you know, he's not that, at least as far as a reasonable person is concerned, no one's that good that he can only upload wins and act like he never loses a game. But at the same time, no, you don't want to upload only your losses because you don't want the world thinking you suck. You want to give him some entertaining to watch. You want to give him a good game. And you also want to try to... Upload your what the heck? Where's the villages at? I don't tell me I turn the villages off because I kind of need those. Whoops, whatever. Any, I'll, I'll just keep going. I don't care, it's not that big a deal. Anyway, uh, you don't want to like what was I saying? You don't want to like, uh, huh, you don't want to just like be slanted like me I try to upload both my wins and my losses though naturally I'm gonna upload my wins most of the time because those are where the really good games are but I feel that the more people I meet who have watched my videos the more they get this perception that I'm actually like a super good player and I really don't view myself as such I think I suck personally <laughs> I personally think I'm like a like I give myself a B plus on a good day no no a B minus on a good day I give myself a B minus on a good day. Like, you're talking to a dude who meant to do a super flat hardcore challenge and forgot to put villages in. <laughs> I'm serious, so I'm just gonna run around punching slimes for the duration of this video. But anyway, the whole thing is that, like, I am not as good as I feel like I am, and my performance lately has been holding up to that. See, the reason why I wanna take a break from Pokemon, competitive Pokemon for a while, is because it's just been so frustrating for me actually like I've been playing on Pokemon showdown the server you know and, and you know XYO is what I've been trying to get heavily into because you know it's the new format and whatnot and you know gen 6 is out and all that stuff and I'm just trying to keep up with the meta game and the like and it's like it's just getting frustrating like the games becoming less fun it's like it's, it's it's becoming like a not fun if you don't win type deal and it's like when you lose it's like screw this you know I want to do something else I'm, I'm getting tired like 
Like, you know, it's, there's a problem when you get mad to the point that you keep deleting your teams on a daily basis. Like, out of rage. Out of just frustration and rage, you just delete everything. You say, screw everything. Like, I can't even find the competence in me to say good game anymore to half these people these days, man. Honestly. I can't even find me say good game anymore to half these people. And that's kind of an issue because I'm actually a pretty mannerable dude, if I may say so myself. And But it's like... Okay, and, and my my patience in general has just gone down. Like, I've started to run out of innovative ideas. It's like, you know, I try doing original things. That doesn't seem to be working. I try using less used things, interesting things I come up with on my own. They don't seem to be working. I try to use standard, bog standard stuff. Like, I threw together a team yesterday night. Yesterday night, today is December 27th. Tomorrow's the 28th, and I turn 21 tomorrow. But that's besides the point. Today's the 27th. Yesterday night... I made this this generic, disgustingly bland-looking team of, like, Latios, Tyranitar, um, the heck is that one dude's name, uh, Latios, Tyranitar, but Sharp, um, Genesect, uh, Rotom Wash, and Conquilder. Though all those guys, all on one team, straight up, you know, simple concept, it was, it was a standard-looking team, it was generic, it looked so plain and disgusting to me yet it was a team on the try because not much else seems to be working these days and you know what the thing is though it didn't work i kept losing i just kept losing over and over again and i'm about to get raped but anyway, i just kept losing over and over and i got sick and tired of it, it just it just pissed me off basically and it's like you know what screw this I deleted this team deleted a bunch of teams sadly i even deleted that team i did on my last ps live i mean i might bring that back but for the time being, it is currently in the graveyard. And it's like, my patience has just gone down to the point that I can't even really play against stally things in general without getting kind of annoyed. Like, like defensive threats or just super bulky Pokemon who just sit there and are meant to stall you out forever. Just get on my nerves. They get under my skin. They piss me off. They just, they just make me want to kick somebody right in the face. Like what this slime is doing to me. Kicking me straight in the face. And I'll just run, screw it, I'm going home. Anyway, it's gotten to the point that, like, man, wow, man, I can't believe this. I hate it. Like, I like, like my my least favorite Pokemon of all time used to be just Amoongus. It just mainly used to be Amoongus. I hated Amoongus more than any Pokemon. I'll never use that thing. It's just annoying as heck to me. Single battle, double battle, no matter where you put Amoongus at, it's in my face. It's annoying. That's where it gets the A from, annoying. But lately, even stuff like, uh, crap, uh, even stuff like Blissey, Chansey, those two have become the bane of my existence lately. I just get sick of seeing them, I get sick of playing against them. It's like, holy crap, can you not use these things? Can you please not be that guy? Like, oh my god. Like, I understand their defensive stally Pokemon, and that's what they do, they stall you out. Like, Chansey and Blissey, though, they, they, I know how to beat them, obviously. They just piss me off, though, because I keep seeing them. And they just, ugh, it just annoys me. Like, I have such little patience. I don't even feel like putting up with them. Or, like, Substitute Toxic Glide Score. If you use that thing, I automatically hate you. you use Chansey or Blissey, I automatically hate you. Even if this applies to you, don't take offense, but I automatically hate you, and I think you're a scumbag lowlife because they're just a pain to deal with. Because I really don't have the fortitude to want to sit here and go 15 turns shooting the dozens with somebody who just wants to spam substitute and toxic all over. You know, that was what Wall Rain did in Gen 5. I just died. Screw it. That's what, what that's what Wall Rain just did in Generation 5. And that, that crap was not fun. Wait, why am I on this? Whoops. And I, I just got mad about it. I hated it so much. It just... Ugh. And it's like... When I... Like, uh, what am I trying to say, dude? What am I? Let me get the. Let me gather myself. Let me get the right words. Let me get the right words here, because I really need to get this out. Like, and I, and I know how to beat them. Like I said, I'm just venting. But it's like everybody I've seen who uses stall teams just irritates me. I don't want to sit here playing 117 turns with you while you slowly chip away everything, doing like next to nothing. When like you're setting yourself up to get killed by a critical hit, when I can just break your core. Or something like it just drains my patience, just saps at it. 
it just gets under my skin. When you use things like substitute toxic glass score, everybody who has used substitute toxic glass score has had to be that guy. I swear to you, they've had to be that guy. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why they've tried to be that. Like, like when I say that guy, I mean like a person who just they they do something. They obviously had a. They obviously realize it's futile. It's not gonna get them anywhere. But they want to stay in. They want to do it anyway. They want to do it just to annoy you, just to whittle your patience down, just to bug you. That's being that guy. I don't like when you're that guy. When you're that guy, you are disgusting. Seriously. Like, for instance, this one battle I had like several weeks ago, maybe a month or ago or so. It was like I was playing against this dude. I had a Gengar out on him. He has substitute toxic glide score. Okay, Gengar has levitate. He's immune to earthquake. He's poison type. Immune to toxic. He couldn't do anything to me. But you know what? Instead of being a good boy and switching out, you know what he does? This dude stays in. This dude stays in on something he knows he can't beat without switching out and tries to go the whole... He just tries to go around the horn with me. Like, he just tries to... This goes on for like 40 turns straight of him trying to stall me out, spam and substitute and protect, trying to run me out of moves. And I'm just sitting here like, what are you doing? Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? Don't be that guy. Like, get... <laughs> Like get inspiration, dude. Get get a soul. Get something. Get it together. And he and the only reason I lost that battle, my browser crashed. My browser freaking crashed after while I was in the middle of that battle. By the time I got back on, it was registered as a forfeit in my behalf. I was that was the sodium in my blood right there. That I was salty. I I was just so mad, man. And that's not the first time. It's like every single time somebody uses substitute toxic glass score, they just have to do that. I understand it's a stally Pokemon. That's the purpose of the set. It's to stall you out, whittle you down, and let everything eventually die. I understand that, okay? But it's just annoying to me. It just kills me. It just makes me want to punch something in the face, like this poor sheep here. This is what I want to do to you when you use sub subtoxic glass score. I like how I just went on a rant for half the video about one Pokemon. Same deal with Blissey, man. That thing is an annoying prick. And if you use it, shame on you. Shame on you. Seriously. I don't care if you're offended. I don't care if you didn't. I mean, now you might feel it's hypocritical for me to talk about these things when you could go through my old out uploads and clearly see I have used stall teams. I have used stall teams. I've attempted to. I've used Umbreon, which was basically like the UU version of Blissey for real. I've used it. That, that was when I had patience. I don't like it no more. And because of the the nature of the kind of person I've grown into as of late, I feel that, you know, I've just gotten so impatient I can't even use all these things, let alone play against them without just, like, feeling disgusted. And that is part of why a huge chunk of the fun I get has been sapped out of the game. Like, the love of the game I had is slowly starting to fade out, and it's just getting, it's just getting frustrating to deal with. So it's like, why well, deal with it, you know? Um... Like let, let let me let me tell you something else about myself. Like, I'm an artist. I, I used to be an artist. Okay, like a couple years ago, back in when I was in high school, I graduated in 2011. Mostly during that year in 2010, I drew portraits. Like I like I'm pretty good at most art in general. Okay, not pretty good at most art, but I'm slightly decent at most art in general. But portraits, pencils, sketching that was my specialty. That was my workshop. That's what I loved doing. It was a talent I actually was pretty proud of myself for, and I actually respected it. And after I graduated high school, I just kind of stopped doing it. You know, I fell out of it. It's like I got lazy. I got uninspired, you know. I put down a pencil. I picked up my Nintendo DS, basically. That's how I like to put it. And, you know, I just started playing Pokemon, I guess, because it was a while after I graduated that I started to pick up this YouTube channel and got me where I am now. And it's kind of like, I miss it, and I want to get back into that pursuit, especially when the thing I'm at now is kind of hard to deal with. Like, and let me tell you something else about myself. I also rap. I make music. Yes. Black dude rapping. How surprising. It's 
let me bring it back For all you and me, she asked Clearly you gon' need me back You gettin' soft as beanie bags Came up from my downtime I'm too on point to be relaxed Re-education, about to teach you back What gives you life? I'm only taking real students Got no room for teacher's pets Don't care if you need a nap I'm turning you and saw me yet So it's my turn to lead the pack and Set the score, even that And treat my crap like cheese and mac The people that be eating that Honestly, check out my other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash gville has a TV. I will attempt to put that on the screen somewhere. I will put this in the description. Check it out. Listen to my stuff. I got a mixtape that I'm actually working on that I started up on coming out. And it's like, I'm trying to get more consistent with it because before I just like wasn't able to be consistent with it. it just I wasn't doing it at a pace that I was comfortable with and that I like doing. And it's like, wow, <laughs> you know. I like to keep up with it. I like to get back into that, doing that some more, you know. So please check it out, support a bro, because my channel seriously needs some views. And it's also like, amidst all this though, I'm not saying I want to quit Pokemon. I'm not saying that stall sucks. I'm not saying that you have no soul, that you are a patience decapitating nitwit if you use a Blissey or a Chansey. I'm not saying that all you like to do is just suck the patience out of a dude's veins and make him want to punch you in the face in real life. I'm not saying that, you know, you make me just want to strangle myself and everybody involved every time you use this Pokemon against me because it's just the bane of my existence. I'm crap. I'm not saying that, even though it feels like it's true. Oh, dude, there's a village right over there. That is whack. Man, respawn me in this joint. Aw, oh, you suck. Alright, whatever. Anyway, what I'm saying is, if I could just get out of this for a while and get back to my patient self, that would be great. You know, if I could just go back to being patient and being able to appreciate the game and have fun again, that would be great. I just want to take a break from competitive battling for a bit. I don't honestly know how long it'll be, but I just want to take a break from it. Like, I'll still upload some games here and there. I'll still play Pokemon Showdown. I'll still be playing my X version, you know, whatever. I'll do that, but at the same time, I just want it to be like, let me just take a breather before I, before I choke to death, before the salts in my blood get so thick that I have a heart attack out of wanting to strangle somebody for being such a prick. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Like, also contrary to that, I also got like a new, I also do plan to do some other things, you know, especially thanks to these 400 subscribers. I have a, um, I have another Let's Play planned, and it's for, um, this PlayStation 1 game called Brave Fencer Musashi. It was a PS1 classic. I love that game. It was great. It was awesome. There's bats flying around. Shoutouts to my bros. Um, <laughs> it was a great game, and I honestly want to do a Let's Play of it, and that's what I plan to do in the future, like it or not, and, um, I don't know, heck, maybe... Maybe do a let's play of Minecraft. I doubt it, but don't get your hopes down because it could happen, though it's not entirely too likely. Oh, crap. But, like, just, you know, I just plan to do that, basically. I, I just want to take a break from TLDR. Basically, if you want to skip to the main point of this entire video, let it be right here. I just want to take a break from competitive Pokemon because it's kind of frustrating. I'm getting impatient and it's not fun as it used to be. I want to get into my other pursuits, embrace my other talents, do some other things, play some other games, and, you know, just still at the same time be able to keep you guys entertained. Of course, I'm not saying I'm going to retire from it or that I'm going to step down from doing it or whatever, but I just want to just take a break and gather myself so that when I get back into it, I can get back into it wholeheartedly and, you know, be able to be the same bro I've been up to this point that's basically all I want okay so anyway that's pretty much all of anything I even have to say for real for real and thank you guys for watching uh, like comment subscribe favorite uh, I don't know what else to say for real <laughs> like, like, if you want if you want to watch me play this uh maybe you leave a comment I guess maybe I'll uh, continue this super flat hardcore survival thing I don't know I doubt it'll be a thing, but, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't think most of my audience even likes my Minecraft Let's Plays. I mean, based on that one Let's Play I did last year, that thing got, like, <laughs> minimal views compared to the amount of subscribers I had. So, you can't really just convince me with words on that one, but it's whatever. Anyway, yeah, I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.